Hey, how you doing? Didn't see you there. Mayor of Paranormal, how y'all doing today? So, uh, today we are in my homeland. Oh, we're not in my homeland, but we're at a plantation out here in Jacksonville, Florida called the Kingsley Plantation. We've never heard of this place at all. Never. Um, one of our friends told us about this place because we were actually coming out here to see the Neff House. Crazy enough, Kingsley Plantation is in the same exact place that the Neff House is in. It's in, uh, was it Jean so George St. Pierre Park or something like that? I don't know. Fort George Plant, yeah. Fort George. <laughs> yeah, so we came out here. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, first off, um, yeah, as soon as you pull into the plantation, you see where the slaves were housed and everything. And then over here, um, the smaller house is the kitchen. All right, so the small house is the kitchen, and then the bigger house was actually where the plantation master, or you know, the warden, I guess, lived uh, with him and his family. Um, this building that we just left here, this is actually where they made sugar. Um, so they have scythes in there and everything to cut down the wheats and stuff. Then over here you got a plow and I guess like some kind of like muddling thing. I don't know, it's very interesting. Um, if you look over here, um, they got a well. So that's the house well, just applied all the water. I'm wondering if they actually still use that well today. Um, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to walk up here to the plantation, um, to the house. I wanted to see if we can actually walk inside of it, because if we could walk inside of it, that would be awesome. Um, actually, I want to come over here real quick. Um, the reason, so the reason why we came here is uh, one of our friends actually told us that, um, you know, at night in the woods, you can actually hear the chains from from the slaves uh, rattling and shaking and everything. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is. It says audio tour number four. So I can only assume that this might have been a well as well at some point. So, oh, we can in fact enter the building. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's walk over here though. Let's check this out over here first. Like I said, we don't really know the history of this plantation. This is just a first time visit, um, kind of spontaneous visit. So we're just going to kind of walk around. You know, uh, it's very peaceful out here. Right? It's not, mm, 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 mm. it's very peaceful out here, to say the least. Um, you know, as soon as you. Like, you know, we were we were vibing in the car and everything, and like as soon as we pulled onto the plantation, the entire mood just changed, right? And I, I don't know, maybe it's just because, like, I don't know, I'm white. So, um, it, it just changed the entire mood, right? Oh, these are gopher turtles. Awesome. So, they got some little gopher turtles. They're protecting it. I guess they're in season. And... She's in there. She's in the hole. Hi there, little miss. Probably having babies. That's awesome. And then it's really cool. They have a whole little lake out here, so I'm wondering yeah, how Eastern, that is. Eastern in indigo snakes. You got burrowing owls, armadillos, mice, rabbits, toads, insects. That's awesome. Yeah, she's in there too, so if you want to try to get a shot of her, she's in the hole. Not a whole kind of snake person. That's a it's a turtle. I know, I know. But oh, I see snakes on the damn thing. Oh, true, <laughs> true, 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 true. I just gotta look for smaller burrowing hose holes. He in there? Just trust us. So, and also, I do want to express and say sorry, guys, for such a late intro. Um. While we were in St. Augustine, we were having a whole blast. We celebrated Alex's birthday. So on the on the 27th was his birthday. Uh, it was a fantastic time. We went out, you know, went out to town looking fantabulous, which, you know, that'll be put inside one of the videos. Uh, for a little awkward moment of Alex having a happy birthday, 
think kind of, oh, this area is closed for shoreline restoration. Um, you know, so that's very interesting, whatever they got going on down there. Well, stand bar party. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. I dig it. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Alex had a nice little birthday party. We went out to the Columbia and everything. Um, you know, had a nice little dinner for his birthday and whatnot. We were dressed down to the tea. Everybody was looking at us like, dang, what are y'all doing? And I was like, look, man, we just gangsters out here, okay? Just be a pimp. Right? And then the next day, like, there were some people that, rem like, remembered us. And then I ended up spending $50 because I'm, like, weak towards children. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah, so then we just enjoyed the rest of the day. We hit a couple of tours and whatnot. Um, wanted some stuff about the Spanish hospital, and crazy enough, uh, the Spanish hospital was very, very, very clean. Um, but they also weren't really dealing with, you know, too much war during that time. So a lot of the stuff that they did there was very, I mean, they did do, they did perform surgeries, they did amputations and everything, but, you know, it wasn't very seldom that they had that. They just kind of had to deal with a little bit of illness and sickness here and there, amputations here and there. But other than that, they were very, very clean people um, at their hospital. And then this is the house, guys. So we're going to go ahead and hopefully walk in. That's a historical door. A precious survivor. This room and its wall floor are made of tabby oyster shell concrete. Please Frequently walking on tabby will wear down the unique floor, which is nearly 200 years old. So this floor is almost 200 years old. Obviously, the stuff inside here probably not, but the floor itself is 200 years old. Original fireplace. Which won't focus.